Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Don't put the elf in the Merry video. Christmas okay. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I snuck it in here. I just you can't said, see anything. Oh, okay. It's here. Mm. Hello. Mm. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. That's right. It is Christmas weekend 2023. Ah! <laughs> that elf has been terrorizing me. We have been playing around with him. We've been taking turns, um, hiding him in... <laughs> Every morning. He's been in different places throughout the house. Yeah, this morning, where was he at? Go Some ahead, will tell, scare tell, you. Tell, tell him where he was. He was morning. in my purse stealing all of my money. <laughs> the little thing had all my cash <laughs> stuck in his pocket. Oh, you in his shirt. The, where's his vest? Where's his vest? Yeah, I had money in his. <laughs> I took the money out of her out of her wallet, and he was like, had it all up in his vest and stuff. He was, and then he was. No, but then when I got up to come into this office to work today, you're not gonna. He was doing naughty things with Barbie. <laughs> He spent his... No, he wasn't. That sounded bad. He was spending that money in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. We're the right ones, depending on what you... Um, we're done talking about this elf. This, this thing's gotten out of, out of control. He is out of control. Welcome to the Tosh and Debbie show. Um, what did I just say? Did I say the Tosh and Debbie show? I said that you so did. fast. I don't you know did. what I said. Um, we're semi-normal sometimes. <laughs> um, and if you've ever watched our shows, you'll know that's half true. If you like our content that we put out for you guys, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. But Debbie's going to tell you a little something you've probably never heard before come out of her mouth. Please check out some of our content. Make sure you want to be a part of our family before you subscribe. We don't want you to be here if you don't want to be here. We put on a variety of stuff out here, so we're always looking at different things. So make sure. It's true. That you went to join us. That was a lot more than actually what you normally say. I know. Huh, okay. And we'll it's free. It. That's the big part. It's free. Um, and you can gift our channel to somebody else. It's a great Christmas gift. You can put a bow on it. You know, <laughs> all kinds. Of, I'm done. Um, today, we're actually checking out something we're really excited about checking out because we haven't done this yet. Don't know why. I know. It's crazy as we have not done it. But no. every time we ask about Christmas markets and things to look at, people Edinburgh. always mention this yeah. for us to go and look at. And Edinburgh's come up a lot lately as far as like, places in the UK that's really Christmassy. So we're going to be checking out the Edinburgh Christmas Market of this year, 2023. And this is from Khaki Bot's Guidebook. That's her channel. Um, we spoke with her and she's super freaking nice and um, watched a little bit of a couple of her other videos. Mm -hmm. Beautifully filmed, um, really well narrated. Absolutely great. We're going to put the link to her video original one in the comments, not the comments, sorry, the description of this video. And we'll ask you as a Christmas gift to please go over to her original video, like it, subscribe to her channel. Mm -hmm. I think you'll really thank us for that gift. We're giving I you a gift so. by telling you to go to her channel because she's really mm -hmm. cool. Um, and she is a Czech expat to Scotland. Um, so a different take on things in a way that will resonate with us it as will. not as being Scottish. Tourist, we'll be able to yeah. see things through her eyes. But also... I think it'd be neat to see. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I'm really just excited to see the market itself, and I can't wait for it. Mm -hmm. So without any further ado, um, Edinburgh Christmas Market 2023. By the way, guys, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's already beautiful. No way. Hello my peeps, welcome to Kakibot's Guidebook. This is Ket, aka Kakibot, and today I am going to be taking you to explore Edinburgh's Christmas markets. Some of them launched last night, but uh, this bit here on George Street only kind of launched today. So we gave ourselves two days or day and a half to shoot as much footage as possible for you so you know what to expect if you're coming for Edinburgh's Christmas or maybe if you're watching this in the future, you have something to plan around. Anyway, Perfect. from my first impression, I can already tell that things have kind of moved around a little bit. It's kind of interesting to see how they're trying to fix previous year's issues by moving <laughs> certain locations around or like certain features around. So we're going to be showing you that. And also I thought that this year I would focus on trying to find and show you some of the more like small businesses that are taking oh, part cool, in like the that. markets because I can imagine Perfect. that it must be quite expensive to rent a stall 
at one yeah, of these. Probably. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to tell you about them and I'm going to force you. I'm going to hold you like this and shake you very aggressively and tell you to go visit them and throw your money at them. I like to be shaken aggressively. No. What? That's a weird thing to say. Uh, let us know if you've been to Edinburgh Christmas Market, mm -hmm. uh, especially this year, but in general. Um, you know, is this year better? Mm -hmm. Like she said, they're fixing some issues they've had. Yeah. Uh, Want to know, did they? What were the issues? I don't know. Uh, but I'm intrigued. Because if you're coming for Edinburgh Christmas, then you probably already have a pretty good budget. So yeah, mm. why not give some of it to the smaller businesses I that agree. are partaking in Edinburgh's Christmas. Okay, that is it for my intro. And now we can finally go see what's happening. So this year, the Christmas markets around Princess okay. Street have four distinct areas. Wow. The Kid Friendly Festive Family Fun Fair. Wow. Stop it. I know, right there. We're good. Let's just hang out here. Hey, can I tell you what I really want for Christmas? To go to Scotland? No. What? To move to Scotland at <laughs> this <move>. point. <laughs> um, that's it. Come on, man. We have some really cool stuff here, but we don't got that. No. We sure don't. We don't got that. We sure don't got that. We don't got that. <laughs> no, we don't. Just look up and see a castle like no. that. I mean, that's Christmas and cool, and then it's boom. I know. These kids riding these rides have no idea. They don't. That. Not everyone in the world gets to ride a ride with the castle. Kind of unfair. It's a lot unfair. <laughs> Whatever. It's cool. I'm fine with this. Let's move on. I'm totally unaffected by this. I'm so mad right now. Around Princess Street have four distinct areas. The kid-friendly festive family fun fair, so the busy busy East Princess Street Gardens Market, the sparkly St. Andrew's Square Festival of Kindness, and the George Street Market and Ooh. Ice Rink area. Okay, that's stunning. <clears throat> we are going to start at the Family Fun Fair, which features a whole range of rides. Gosh. Some of them very kid friendly and some possibly targeting older kids and definitely not decrepit elder millennials like me. Older because kid. let me say, all of that screaming was neither festive nor very tempting to me. There is also a little marshmallow toasting pit, a couple of photo ops, and of course, me. There is also a What's happening between those marshmallows there, Debbie? I have no idea. It looks like a tomato, but I have no idea what that is. I know. I'm sitting there going, what? Cherry, maybe? Maybe it's a cherry. A cherry? Wait, do tell. That'd what is there? That'd be a really there? big cherry. Unless it's really a little marshmallow. What is I that? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Taking guesses. Piece of candy? I don't have a clue. No it does idea. look like a, tomato, like a cherry tomato. <laughs> I know, but ro roasted tomato and marshmallow does that not... Make... <laughs> Sound like it goes together? <laughs> we have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sorry, let us know if you know. Marshmallow toasting pit, couple of photo ops, and of course, great views of Castle Rock. Castle Rock. Huh. It's freaking beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. Mm, I love this. Oh, we so, go around. So pretty. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Your eyes are freaking me out. Oh, this is cool. Okay, now it's time to really buckle up and push the crowd anxiety into the very back of my brain because we're continuing towards the East Princess Street that. markets. Stunning. Traditionally the busiest area of Edinburgh's Christmas. Let's start by getting a very scared bird's eye view from the big these. wheel. Every year I decide that I really want to go on the big wheel. And every year when I'm on the big wheel, I realize that I'm afraid of the heights. Yes! <laughs> and I'm not having a good time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I feel for you. So we have this one, which I would say is like the almost, almost the height of Scott's Monument, maybe just above. But even higher than that, this year is the Star Flyer, which is kind of mm -hmm. the like big tower that nope. you go all the way on top and then it like rotates. And That's pretty cool. How do they even get that thing on there? The giant crane, obviously, right or something? Well, I think the tower is behind there. Oh, is it? It just looks like it's on that. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a super cool view, but mm -hmm. how many of you would do this and how many wouldn't? No, you wouldn't do it either. I wouldn't do this. Wouldn't. I would do the oh, Ferris would. wheel. Yeah, you would. Because at least it's enclosed. Does that mean I'm more For some reason, I think that little bit of glass would save me when I it would not. fell from it would the not. sky. I know it wouldn't, but I don't know. I wouldn't do the Ferris wheel. I would do that. Nope. My mom got stuck on one of those once. I told you about that. Yeah. Mm hmm Maybe you get good views. I don't know why people do it. It looks terrifying. They're crazy. Like they are so high up that you can't even hear them scream. But I guarantee <laughs> you they scream. I like her. <laughs> Tyson. 
The big wheel costs 10 pounds if you're a visitor. But if you're a local and you register on the Edinburgh Christmas website and you put in your uh, <laughs> and you put in your postcode. That oh, poor thing. She's my new favorite person Aww. ever. She, you're my new favorite person ever. I feel so bad for her. I will come with you and we will stay on the ground together <laughs> and we will make fun of the people in the air. I promise you. I got your back. <laughs> I get it. Natasha will remind you, don't go. I will I will help make sure you don't do this again. I will I, I won't let you. <laughs> and I love her outfit. Christmas sweater underneath. I'm, I'm her digging jacket. that, yeah. It's perfect. I I'm <laughs> oh, poor thing. She's also hilarious. I hope she gets off this soon. <laughs> but she's so funny. <laughs> Uh, I could totally see me and her hanging out, yeah, standing down there having a coffee, looking up and just being like idiots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but more power to those of you not afraid of heights. But you know, I just want to be where God intended me. Mm. Feet on the ground. <laughs> just saying. When you're finalizing your profile, now this is the trick because <laughs> they don't actually ask you for the postcode when you're registering. Uh, so you have to go into your profile and put in your postcode, and then automatically you get twenty percent off of your <laughs> ticket for this or anything else, I believe. Oh, God, lover. <laughs> I think that's it for me for now. <laughs> when the locomotion starts, I'm gonna be fine, but this bit where it keeps stopping is not great. Okay, let me know in the comments below if you like these rides, if you're not a total chicken, although you are my beeps, so technically you're all chickens. <laughs> I can definitely see that the star flyer is much higher than us, so that's good. Well, anyway, the views are nice, and now we're hopefully gonna move. It's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be better. And uh, let's explore more of the markets, please. <laughs> God love her. Poor thing. That in itself was entertaining enough. Oh. Go please to that woman's channel. I was gonna say, just for that, head over to our channel and, and give her a subscribe like. subscribe to her. Good lord, she's great. Come on, she's got a great oh. personality. Love it, just love it. <laughs> this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. The views are nice. But are they worth pulling up to possibly your death for? No. Yeah. Drones. Oh, there's a slide. So I've noticed that this year a lot of the food options overlap with what we tasted during the summer festival season. Okay. You'll find pies and dumplings, but also the more Christmas markety sausages and crepes. No sausages, but crepes? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yorkshire pudding. No, thank you. Ooh, fudge. fudge. Yes, please. Gosh, that's beautiful. Still all those leaves on the trees. You see that? Mm hmm. What is that statue there? That's beautiful. And when it comes to oh, shopping for cool. goods, I'd recommend stopping by the East End Press Stall for your decoration needs. Small this business. is a small indie printing business from Glasgow and their market prices are exactly the same as the ones listed on the website. So you don't have to worry about paying a premium for the festive vibe. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Oh, I'm jealous. Some jam. I would buy a lot of stuff here. <laughs> yeah. I know it can be expensive, but I don't care. It'd be worth it. That's so pretty. That thing's huge. It is huge. to some of the previous markets, this area no longer spills onto the slopes leading into the gardens. Instead, the gardens now house a little illumination trail with Ooh. multiple photo spots, which is a nice little detail to give you an extra thing to do while avoiding the overwhelm of market crowds. Mm. Does look cool. That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, that's neat. St. Andrew's Square. Now, moving on to wow. St. Andrew Square, which has become a lot more serene in the last couple of years. I used to quite like the circular skating ring here, but creating a quiet yet festive reprieve here instead is probably better. 
This area features a Santa post box and also a great opportunity to check out Social Bites Recover Village House. This is a wonderful project aiming to help people struggling with addiction find a safe environment to recover. Each of the tiny houses costs about £40,000 to build, so your small donation will be much appreciated. That's really cool. What a great idea. That is fantastic, and I am so thankful that she brought that up. Not that I knew about it, but um, wow. Yeah, if you don't already know, I am 19 years sober this mm -hmm. month, I, in the first month, from alcohol, um, alcoholism. So something that's, you know, personal to myself, that's mm -hmm. important to me too. That's fantastic. I love it. Um, wow. So thankful that she highlighted that. Um, that's just wonderful. Help out if you can. Um, and I also just want to say how beautiful this whole video is. Every scene, I may not be saying a whole lot. I'm sitting here with my brain just like, this yeah, place it's all is... stunning. We haven't seen many Christmas markets on this channel. Only right. like a couple, really. Mm -hmm. This definitely so far is the most beautiful one I've seen, though. Yeah. I don't know if... Can you... I mean... I don't know if you can. Can you top it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty daggone perfect, though, mm -hmm. I will say, and a it place is. I would love to visit. Thousand pounds to build. <clears throat> so your small donation will be much appreciated. So let's see. I will put a link in the description of this video to this place. Okay? Good idea. Absolutely. Appreciate it. George Street. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd do that one. I wouldn't do that either. George Street seems to have a lot more going on this year than it did in 2022. There's a whole little market and a little wintertime bar Ooh, area. Like and you can also visit one of the big newcomers to the indie street food scene here in Edinburgh. Holy waffles. Ah, uh, just look at them. Just so tasty. Yes, they smell so please. good. Trust me, if you ever had the store-bought ones, these are like 20 times better. We've had no, the crappy like store-bought ones, so not like them. Those look good. Marshmallows, too. Mm. Gimme. More fudge. I've heard that the hot chocolate's like really expensive. Even like oh, everything here is like pretty expensive though. Mm, right, typical though. Not like a lot. That looks amazing. Overall, it's a much quieter market wow. than the main area on Princess Street. Okay. You might have a bit less of a choice <coughs> when it comes to food, but that's awesome. There's waffles. I'm down with waffles. Yeah, this is pretty. And at the very end of George Street, the ice rink. It is fully covered this year, but a bit less fun for mere observers like me. The cost is mm. £14 for adults Whoa. and 12 for the kiddos. I guess that's not terrible. No, I haven't had an ice skate, never have, so... And we made it to the ice rink on George Street, which marks the fourth and final part of Christmas. I wonder, do you guys make ice skating part of your holiday traditions? Do you do that through the Christmas season? At least go once. Um, uh, I don't. <laughs> I've been <laughs> asking a lot of people this year, like, what is their tradition? And I have heard a lot of people around here saying that ice skating, going ice skating really? is a uh, part of their traditions. Hmm. Never been. I have no desire to. I can rollerblade. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I can ice skate. I think you could. I'm going to run the Thank you. Sure. The ice rink on George Street, which marks the fourth and final part of Christmas markets in Edinburgh 2023. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Hopefully now you have Beautiful. a good idea of what's going on this year around town. Um, for us, it's been quite intense. Uh, there is a lot of people around for sure. But I want to say that despite so many locals really just straight up hating on Christmas markets, like don't ever go on Reddit and ask about Christmas markets because why? I don't know, they'll just kick you out of Reddit. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure uh, what's the proper like verbiage for being kicked out of Reddit, but uh, the <laughs> Edinburgh subreddit, uh, very much a bunch of bitter Christmas haters. That's there, I said it. 
I can never show my face on there ever again. <laughs> but I do actually think that this year, more than ever, you can see small sellers and like small food producers That's kind of speckled know. around the market. Mm -hmm. Obviously not in all of the stalls, but uh, as you saw in my video, there is a whole bunch of them. So like if you kind of know what you're looking for, you will be able to support small local businesses and, you know, pump some of that money back into Scotland's mm -hmm. sort of independent business economy. Speaking of which, if you're at this ice rink area, don't forget that right next to the ice rink is the Scottish Design Exchange, where not just myself, but also a lot of my creative friends are selling their wares. And I think for oh, me, really? this is the top place That's I recommend cool. to people to buy their Christmas prezies because mm -hmm. Scottish Design Exchange truly is a place where you can buy something for anyone. Ooh. Obviously, I oh, sell. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about that for a moment. Um, men's size small. <laughs> Natasha just found a sweater she loves. All of them. Mm -hmm. The one in the front's really cool. I know. I knew you were oh, looking at that one. I can't one. see the price. It looks like a three-digit number, though. I have no idea. Oh, um, dang. Oh, I want a Scottish sweater. <laughs> this is really nice. I, I, I didn't know about this place. No. I mean, the whole market in itself is really cool. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really I'd, liking oh, it. Oh, my gosh. I'd be so broke going here, though. Yeah. Well worth it. My little pins, I have one in my pocket. Oh, this cool. little coup, very gold, very festive. Uh, but this time of year, you can also find so many Christmas cards there. Very fun. You should definitely pop by and support local makers because totally uh, they would. very mm -hmm. much deserve it. Okay, that is it for me. Um, I think that before I go, I'd like to ask you what you think about Christmas markets. If you hate them, I guess feel free to tell me it's fine we you know it helps the algorithm whatever but um I would prefer you telling me that you don't hate Christmas markets I think that the despite the crowds the vibe is right and um, I'm hoping a lot of you are with me on on that same page of kind of liking Christmas markets still despite the crowds now I'm gonna wrap this video up I loved it I hated how short it was though that's my uh official analysis right there. <laughs> I agree. It's too short. I think what I noticed with this one compared to the what one or two others that we've mm -hmm. looked at is this one seemed to be one bigger, like covered more area. Yeah. And then I liked how they had, you know, specific things in specific areas. That more way. split up in a way. Yeah, yeah more yeah. grouped together, like all the kids stuff in one area than at least shopping from what at we markets. Can see, right? From what we yeah. could see and from the map that she showed. Well and I liked I liked her take on it though too, where she's showing you like the small business areas and different mm -hmm. things. And um, I, I think that's really, really neat to know that because those are things I'd want to know if I'm going there. Yeah. You know, I don't want to just know like, okay, this is what it looks like and you can buy some food. Yeah. Like, and, and that going in, right? So this is actual mm -hmm. information that's helpful if you plan on going. Mm -hmm. Now at this point, it's pretty little, little late for that probably. Um, <laughs> but you know, in the future, uh, next year maybe, at mm -hmm. least you'll know some ideas of, of, of stuff like that. But I had no idea like some small vendors would even be there. Who yeah. knew? But every single scene I thought was beautiful. Please, uh, guys, give us a like. Uh, you know, consider subscribing to our channel. But please make sure you give her one. And, and again, uh, the Absolutely. link to her original video is in the description of this. Please go over, say hi, and um, you know, check out our other stuff and give her a subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything; just a second nope. of your time. And um, you know, we love working with different people that make uh, wonderful content and mm -hmm. that you know is so beautiful and well informed. And yeah. that's exactly what we got in this episode. Mm -hmm. If you didn't like this, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, whether you like Christmas markets or not, the video was shot beautifully. Yes, it was beautiful. It, again, makes me want to do that whole let's just jump a plane, jump on a plane, not jump a plane. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that. Jump on a plane and fly there now and just go. And it sucks that we can't just do that. Um, yeah, that would be great if we could. If we will be here on Christmas Eve for an episode. We will not be here Monday. There will be no Magic nope. Monday. Um, so we'll be doing the Christmas thing. But we'll be here on Christmas Eve, and we hope that you'll join us and be back for that episode. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Really, I did a lot. Oh, it was so impressive. It was a lot of fun, and just felt nice to watch. and gave me a nice warm, fuzzy feeling. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you all. And again, we hope to see you Christmas Eve. Until then, guys, as always, love like jazz. And be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.